Have you ever considered taking Timlos or Forteo for osteoporosis? If you have, you may have heard them described as parathyroid hormones. Have you ever wondered what parathyroid hormones are and how they affect your bones? Today we'll be talking about parathyroid hormones, what they do, and how you can help them naturally. We'll also discuss synthetic parathyroid hormones, also known as Timlos and Forteo. Hello, my friends. I'm Sarah, and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a 500-hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. Let's dive into talking about our parathyroid hormones. Parathyroid hormones are secreted by our parathyroid glands to regulate the amount of calcium in our blood. Calcium is used in our bodies for much more than building our bones. It also contributes to our muscle contractions and our nerve impulses. Our parathyroid glands are located in our necks behind the thyroid. We have four parathyroid glands in total, and they're super tiny, only about the size of a small seed or a grain of rice. Our parathyroid hormones stimulate several important functions in our bodies. They stimulate calcium absorption, where our intestines absorb the calcium from the foods that we eat. They stimulate the release of calcium from our bone storehouses into our bloodstream. They stimulate our kidneys to conserve calcium. And they also stimulate the activation of vitamin D in our bodies to convert vitamin D into a usable form. This happens when we get vitamin D from the sun. This vitamin D comes into our bodies in the form of vitamin D2, and then our bodies convert it into vitamin D3, which is the form our bodies can actually use. It's important to understand that when there's too much calcium in our blood, this slows down the release of parathyroid hormones in our bodies. The reverse is also true. If there's not enough calcium in our blood, then more parathyroid hormone is released. To increase parathyroid hormones naturally, it's important to increase the amount of calcium that we ingest, either through the food that we eat or through supplements that we take. Calcium-rich foods include dairy, soy, dark leafy greens in the cabbage family, and broccoli. Parathyroid hormones are helpful for osteoporosis by reducing the amount of calcium that's lost in our kidneys and by increasing the amount of calcium that we absorb. So coming back to Timlos and Forteo, both of these medications are synthetic or man-made parathyroid hormones. They're designed to stimulate new bone growth. Keep in mind that when new bone growth is stimulated, bone breakdown also increases. This natural tendency in our bodies is not necessarily a bad thing. We actually want our old, worn out bone cells to be replaced with new, strong, high quality bones. Sometimes things happen in our bodies that cause too much bone to be broken down too quickly, and we don't want that. But keep in mind that not all bone breakdown is a bad thing. While bone breakdown does increase when new bone growth is stimulated, medications like Timlos and Forteo generally stimulate significantly more new bone growth than breakdown, creating a net gain for bone, and that bone is generally strong and healthy bone to boot. I'm about to give you an overview of Timlos and Forteo, but before I do that, I wanna point out that I am not a medical doctor. I'm a health coach, and the information that I provide is intended to be general good information, not medical advice. Hopefully this information will help you to have a better understanding of how these medications work, and hopefully it will also empower you to be able to have a good discussion with your doctor. I would also like to share my general approach for dealing with osteoporosis and bone loss. I believe that our lifestyle choices, this refers to how we eat and exercise, can make a big positive difference in our health outcomes, especially with regards to bone health. I believe that the best long-term and ultimately most effective way to improve our bone health comes through our lifestyle choices. That said, I'm not against medication. I believe there are situations and circumstances when medication can be helpful. 
An example of this is that I have a close family member who's gone through cancer treatment, and she also has osteoporosis. Oftentimes she's too worn out from cancer treatments to exercise well, and she also has to take medication that causes ongoing bone loss. In her situation, taking medication is a way to stop her bone loss and to help her maintain the bone that she does have. She does not take bone building medication, however, because she wouldn't be a good candidate for them. I'll go over who should avoid these medications in just a moment. Both Timlos and Forteo provide brief exposure daily of synthetic parathyroid hormones to our bones. This process stimulates new bone growth. While this sounds great, there are some things to be aware of. These medications are likely only effective for a period of about two years. These medications, like most things relating to increasing bone density, are more effective in the spine than they are in the hips. It's also important to note that when a person stops taking Timlos or Forteo, bone building cell stimulation stops after about a week, but increased bone breakdown continues. This makes it especially important to follow up a period of bone building medication with a medication that stops or slows down the breakdown of bone in order to maintain your new bone gains. Both Timlos and Forteo can cause an increased heart rate, heart arrhythmia, and dizziness. These symptoms usually go away after a few days worth of injections, but if it continues, it's something to discuss with your doctor. Timlos and Forteo both have the potential to increase heart-related issues long-term, so if you choose to take either of these medications, pay attention to your heart health and monitor it regularly with a doctor. There are also people who should not take Timlos and Forteo. If you have Paget's disease, a thyroid condition, or have had bone cancer, don't take these medications. There's been quite a lot of information covered today, and it seems like a brief summary would actually be helpful here. Parathyroid hormones are responsible for monitoring the amount of calcium that's in our blood. To increase the amount of parathyroid that your body produces naturally, it's important to increase the calcium-rich foods that you eat in your diet. Synthetic parathyroid hormones in the form of Timlos and Forteo can be used to stimulate new bone growth. If you choose to take one of these medications, it's also important to follow it up with a medication to stop bone breakdown to ensure that you maintain your gains. Lifestyle choices such as a nutritious diet and weight-bearing exercise are the best long-term strategy for improving bone health. Lifestyle choices are also something that you can do whether you choose to take medication or not. I hope that you have found this information helpful, even if you never plan to take medication for osteoporosis. Understanding more about our hormones and how our bodies use them can help us to make better lifestyle choices. If you found this information helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And I look forward to speaking with you soon.